question I've been asked by the media um, this afternoon and tonight has been, why are we here and what do we hope to achieve because the legislation is already in. And I say I never accept bad legislation. Never. There's always a chance to roll this back. Just as I tried in 2016 with other legislation and I'll try again once I get back into the house, we will um, one day see this legislation overturned. It probably will not be in this chair of parliament, but one day we will see this legislation overturned. Because we represent not just ourselves individually, but our families and our supporters, don't we? There's a lot of people that we know that couldn't come tonight uh, that are against this legislation. And I just wanted to say thank you again for coming. Um, it's really important for the public and for the parliament to see that we are here. They are actually sitting tonight. They're actually in the House at the moment debating legislation in both the lower house and the upper house. So we've invited um, MPs from inside who still hold their seats who debated during the information debate. But I will point out that most of the MPs that stood very, very strongly against euthanasia, guess what? We lost our seats. That is not a coincidence. So many people who still don't know that as from tomorrow, the first person will go to a doctor. They've already made their appointment. They will go to the doctor tomorrow and they will fill in their application form for their death permit. They will take up a death permit within three weeks. They will die here in Victoria. That is an appalling situation. That disturbs me. The reality that's starting tomorrow is our shame and we need people to know about it so that we can fight against it. I will not rest until this legislation is overturned. Will you? Are you resting? No. We are here today to mark this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at the faces of soldiers who come out here tonight, a very cold night, uh, to, um, I suppose, welcome this very cold moment in Victoria's history. Um, tomorrow, as of tomorrow, um, the government will be dispensing uh, medication uh, to kill people into people's homes. And that's something that we're all greatly concerned about. What happens with that medication once it gets into people's homes? The government doesn't care. The government has no control over. Uh, they could go anywhere. We've heard that one of the great safeguards of this is that doctors cannot raise the topic of euthanasia with their patients. But the government is getting around this by appointing navigators so that they can show cancer sufferers and others the exit. So one of their great safeguards, of 64 safeguards, has been successfully circumnavigated by this government. That's the sort of approach they have to these safeguards, which are merely a mirage, uh, which are merely something that are uh, low-level hurdles to be overcome uh, in their pursuit of uh, facilitating suicide for those that are suffering. Uh, I'm sure you'll join with me in praying that palliative care is properly funded, properly promoted by this government, so that people don't have to choose suicide to end their pain and suffering. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. You are clearly soldiers. You're standing up in hardship for yourself um, and sending a great message to the people of Victoria. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming this evening. It's a, a, um, an appropriately bleak evening uh, to be out here tonight because uh, the, the cold wind that has been blown from that building is about to engulf the medical fraternity. It's about to engulf every hospital, every doctor's surgery. Uh, in the state. Uh, and that's something that makes tomorrow a particularly sad day for Victoria and The Victoria. saddest. The saddest. Uh, now, you know, we've got a Premier in this state who thinks that you can cure problems by killing them. Hmm. It doesn't matter whether it's babies before they're born, whether it's babies after they're born, or whether it's babies, or whether it's the old people, sick people, uh, a little bit later on. Uh, that's something we have to change. We all have a responsibility to, to, to change him. Uh, and when I say change him, I'm not talking about changing his attitude. I'm talking about getting rid of him. Yeah. Uh, all of us together at the first, at the first opportunity.
So uh, I can I can only say to you that uh, I am really thrilled to see you all out here uh, tonight because if tomorrow was to go uh, was to pass uh, unnoticed, it was just another day. That would be a tragedy. That would be a tragedy because tomorrow is a very very sad day, a tragic day in the history of, of Victoria, Australia. Uh, one, one Australia. That is to the eternal shame of the Premier, of the Government and of every Member of Parliament, whichever side they were, who voted for this bill on euthanasia, who voted to kill patients. Yeah. 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 Yeah.